Say, do you all know what the number one reason is for dry skin? Any ideas? <laughs> it's towels. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you got to be careful on what you ask for. <laughs> well, here it is. My two foot deep trench. I've even started laying out some of the pipe here in the trench just to get an idea of the fittings I'm going to need. That 45 is going to have to come out though because it got hot up against here one time when we burned it. And a little chunk of that end of the uh, pipe is flat. So that'll work out okay when I put in a new elbow and reattach this to that elbow. That'll give this some room to come back and rejoin there. I've got all the pipe fittings ordered up and whatnot with my son. That should be here this week. So we got a lot of stuff coming up in this following week. Like getting that pipe working. And kind of need to. And none too soon either. Because I'm back having water wars again with the neighbor. One of his hired guys went and shut off my water and my irrigation pump, the little one, ran dry for the better part of a day or so because I didn't check my water because my mother has been back in the hospital again. So nothing serious. She's back out. So in the meantime, it is Sunday, the 21st of May, 2023. So let's get started on some of the projects that we got coming up for this week. So what do you call a nurse that has dirty knees? The head nurse. <laughs> well, I've got the garden hose hooked up and now for the moment of truth to see if that seal in the pump is shot. We already knew it leaked out of there, and it's dribbling a little bit worse than it was. So it could very well be that that pump seal shaft has been ruined. You can see that water running. You can probably hear it. Anyway, let's uh, get this system bled, and we'll see what we come up with. So what's with the change lane here? Well, Henry Ford used to always say that you could adjust the uh, points on his Model T Ford by using one thin dime. Also works down there in that little valve when you don't have a screwdriver. If you can hear that hissing going on when you're priming one of these pumps, that's air getting around all the systems. Yeah, so we got to wait for that to quit before we turn the pump on. In chatting on the telephone the other night with my son about uh, how his grandmother was doing, and I told him about the pond and the pump running dry and whatnot, he suggested I put in a pressure switch to shut the thing off when the water pressure drops off. Well, got one. We just never have hooked it up. So we'll flip the switch and see if it kicks on. Got a valve open. Sounds horrible as ever. Let's see. By golly, we got some sprinkler action running out there. Let me shut this off back here. You see if that pump was picking it up. Yep, there it goes. It's got all the air out of it. I can tell because the sprinklers over there are running on the far side of the pond and down by the creek. That and the blowdown has a pretty good uh, amount of force behind it. So yeah, we got the air out of it. You can't see it because we'd be looking into the sun, but that water isn't dripping out of that pump any worse than it was prior to running it dry. So that's a good thing for the farm today. Now we'll get this buttoned up and uh, get on to other projects. Although that little pump is working for now, I'm still not 100% convinced we won't be having issues with it later in the season. 
But for right now, today, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, I thought I'd try out a carpentry joke. But I'm just not so sure that it would work. <laughs> and this ground is extremely dry and thirsty. It is. I need to get a sprinkler back on this. So I'm glad the pump was working out all right today. The side and front lawn needs to be mowed as well. It's even starting to go to seed out here. Darn gopher holes. As you can see, the backyard really needs a good mowing too. Yeah, it does. Right over there, that's the uh, above ground garden bed thing, that v grow thing that I bought. Yeah, with the strawberries in it. Yeah, it's almost completely hidden by the grass growing. And I still need to get the old dog run out uh, from back there behind the garage. So, yeah, a lot of little other projects to do too besides just getting grass cut. I guess we'll have some uh, nuts on this tree this year. Of course, squirrels will probably get it all as usual. It's a filbert slash hazelnut tree, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we'll get some water on it and it'll spring too real well. Say, last night my friend's bakery burned down up town there. Yeah. Guess his business is toast today. <laughs> well, that was the uh, main goal for today, was to get those two sprinklers running. One over behind the WD-45 and the one right here, uh, close to the grain drill, to get this area watered. Uh, it's what we used to call the show area. Uh, we were going to have 20 weekends worth of farmer's markets set up here in this area. We could have had uh, three dozen participants and vendors, but uh, because of a whole bunch of stupid nonsense and scam artists and whatnot, I pulled the plug on it. But we're still going to maintain this and keep this nice and green and uh, a lawn, because who knows, we may end up with something else. That's going to wrap it up for today. I was just trying to get a, a little bit of... Uh, what was going on with the pipe uh, in that trench that's all done other than putting it together and uh, yeah we got water running on the farm again even though it's not out on the field uh, I am going to have to replant the west field uh, the stuff isn't coming up and uh, yeah as soon as we get that pipe put in we'll reseed that in the meantime we got another project we're going to do I have purchased some new interior door panels and a new dash panel uh, for the old 1980 pickup. These things came with a sliding door lock right there that you can't get parts for and you can't find the sliding deal. So I got new panels that have a push button thing up here. So we're gonna take these old panels off, drill a hole for the older style push button. And it was also on some of the newer trucks. And then I'm gonna change out the lock mechanism in the door. Say y'all heard that uh, Lego was reopening their big museum thing they got over there in Sweden after the COVID locked it down. Yeah, they got in there remodeled and whatever and put up new displays of all the little Lego creations that you could have, including boats that swim around in the water and railroad trains, you know, the whole nine yards. It's quite the display. People were lined up for blocks. <laughs> to see the new display. <laughs> so that's the latest here at the farm. Uh, always something going on. We are going to get back into the field as soon as I get that pipe uh, put back together again. My son uh, Skyler says we should have those parts about the middle of the week. So as soon as they get here, that's together and we're going to start watering. You bet we are. Only this time I think what I'm going to do is we're going to water that field Real, soak it up real good for a little bit and then run the drill over the top of it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on how much rain we get coming up. We've been bumping highs in around the mid uh, upper 80s the last couple of days, which is perfect recipe in southern Idaho for thunderstorms. So I imagine another day or two, these skies won't be blue. They'll be black and gray with a lot of kaboomers. Yeah. Anyway, as always, I'm Farmer Dave, wishing you well, and don't forget, right down there, push on that red thing that says subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. 
what you think in the comments down below there and uh, all that kind of jazz. You know what to do. And we'll catch up with you later. So in the meantime, y'all behave out there and have a good one. Bye-bye for now.